Let's uh, to keep this like existential crisis going. Go on. I fell. I fell into like another weird oh, no. rabbit hole oh, the no. other day. All right. What would you do oh, if gosh. you knew you were about to die? <laughs> That's <laughs> because. Uh, okay. Uh, what what span of time are we talking? Are we talking like I'm gonna die within the year, or I'm gonna die like tomorrow? Uh, within like an hour. An hour? Yeah. Oh shit. Be because because I, I um I got into J -O. this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I got into this weird- <laughs> J What did you say? J-O. <laughs> I'm, I'm having the last nut before I go. <laughs> I, I, who, I am the one who has the last laugh. <laughs> because I, cause, uh, like I, I uh, got into this rabbit hole because I like this, uh, this video was recommended to me about the Hawaiian, like kind of like the fake oh, the, missile yeah, yeah. alert, right? So mm -hmm. uh, a while ago, like Hawaii had like a fake missile alert mm. where everyone on their phones got an, got an alert that said ballistic missiles are heading towards ha Hawaii. Right. Please head to shelter as soon as possible. This is not a drill. And Damn, of course, terrifying. It's, it's like, imagine like the earthquake alerts that yeah, we yeah. get. It's, it's like on that, except basically you're being told that a nuclear bomb a nuclear, probably a nuclear ballistic missile bomb is heading towards Hawaii, right. an island. Where the fuck are you gonna run? Yeah. Right? <laughs> Where are you gonna run? So for about- Into like, your swimming pool, obviously. Yeah, so <laughs> for about like 45 minutes, a lot of people believed this is the end. We're, right. We're, this is this is going yeah. to be the end. And like, I, I saw that video and then I, I was just, just like, so curious. So I started mm. like reading comments and hearing stories about people who actually experienced that. Right. And it's just, it's interesting just to see mm. people say like your, your fucking brain chemistry just had, their brain chemistry had changed after that experience just because they had like made peace with the fact that they were going to die. Mm. And it's, I, I find it interesting because, you know, in movies and everything like that, you, you see people portrayed as the world's coming to an end. Let's all fucking panic. Let's all go out kicking and screaming. But the reality is so many people were just, um, were just kind of like at peace with everything. Like, like accepting. That. Yeah, yeah. I, th right. I, th I, I think saw that video of that guy who's just playing golf. Oh like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm right. gonna finish this hole of golf. Yeah, I'm gonna get a PB before yeah, I. Yeah. Go. <laughs> he, he like I saw that video as well. There's a guy who just starts off the video being like, "If you're seeing this video, I probably didn't make it." Oh wow! Uh, and and he just he just starts being like, "You know what? I lived a good life. This is probably the end, but I'm gonna." Finish playing this golf. I'm gonna go out doing what I yeah, love. It's such a and, good video. Uh, what a what a chat. What a what a fucking. I think I think one of the most famous stories actually. Uh, Jim yeah. Carrey, who right. was who was in Hawaii at the time. Oh right. Uh, and he, uh, I saw a clip of him telling his story about it as well. Mm. Where what happened was he got a call from his agent being like, "This is happening." What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, the, the first emotion you get is like panic. Yeah. Is there anything I can do? I got to phone my friends, got to phone my family and everything like that. Um, so he tried calling his daughter. I don't think his daughter picked up or anything like oh. that. Mm. Uh, but then he, but then after, after that initial panic's over, kind of like the acceptance kind of comes in. Mm. So then what he did was he just, he just thought to himself, everyone's trying to get out. But then he just, he just said, he just realized he didn't want to die in his car. Right. So he walked out to the hotel and just walked on the beach and just sat there and just thought about everything that he was thankful for in life. Mm. And I'm like, fuck man, Jeez. that is, that must've been an experience that you can't like, I don't know, I don't know. It's what people like, I'm genuinely curious if anyone in Hawaii went through that experience, what was your experience? Because mm. I, I find that, what happened in Hawaii fucking fascinating. Cause it's, it's kind of sure. like a case study of like mm. so many people believing that this one terrible thing is going to happen. Mm. This one thing you only see in like films and cinema and stuff like that. So you don't normally, you don't really know how people are going to react or mm. how, how you're going to react. You, you can only just like fucking think, maybe I'll do this, right. maybe I'll do that, right? And I feel like hearing those stories as well, like, you know, yeah. like, you know, firsthand narratives is like, you know, they, you can you can hear and you know imagine what they were going through, but like the actual like raw emotions that they were going mm -hmm. through is like 
that's something you can't just like listen to and yeah. imagine, right? Well, like that's something that's just like, you need to have experienced God, that. The, the, amount, <laughs> the amount of comments I saw that was, yeah. uh, when I knew I was going out, I just started smoking a fat blunt, man. I was I was going out high as a kite, baby. <laughs> and I'm like, I was like, you know I what? am doing every drug imaginable <laughs> before I go. I will not die sober. <laughs> do you know, yeah, do you know I what? don't know. That's a good question. What, yeah. Like, what would you do? I don't know what I'd do. Try and break every law imaginable in an hour. <laughs> Try and break every law imaginable. Just, just do that's something. Just... Be like, you know, like like every dark thought you have. Right. Yeah. It's like you know. I'm sure there are people who are like. Well, if we're gonna go in an hour, yeah. I might as well try and fulfill that morbid I'm gonna, curiosity I'm I've always had. I'm gonna eat a fucking right? giant tortoise. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going down in an hour. I don't, I don't know if that's possible. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm eating one. I don't care if it's raw. Okay, I, I, I want to go out eating good food. And I've been thinking about. Okay, I have 45 minutes to find mm. my perfect last meal, which is uh, available in the vicinity I'm in. What mm. the fuck? What would I go eat? Honestly. McDonald's. Uh, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> Honestly, I, I was I thinking about it and I was like- I would, uh, that was for the thought I had. I was like, it's probably gonna be near me. I could probably do it. Why the fuck not? <laughs> I'm like, one, one I'm last, like big one last, to go out. One last nod yeah. for the road. Yeah, one last nod for the road. But also, this is assuming that the workers are happy to keep working. <laughs> yeah. When the world is ending in 45, you got to clock out. No, I, I, I Do you know how many people want Big Macs right now? I gotta give it to them. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's you get it's probably they're probably just giving it away. As yeah, well, exactly. Right? But I want it. I want it. I want. I want to know if there's anyone who'd like anyone who fucking confessed in that in that no, 30, there's 45 probably, minutes. Oh, yeah. There's probably someone out there. But also, if you're if you're dying, and then if the other person's dying, does confessing help at all? Like. <laughs> I don't know, because we've never been in that situation. Yeah, so. But, but <laughs> what, what's kind of funny to think about is like they confessed, right? Yeah. And then they didn't. <laughs> and then they didn't. So they basically <laughs> just fucked themselves. Can, can, we, can we Google if there's any stories of this happening? I'm sure there must have been people who are like, P.S. I, uh, I was yeah. a piece of shit all along. Yeah. <laughs> I shit on your paws. Like, like, P.S. It I, wasn't the yeah. dog. P.S. I, I banged your mom. I, I want to know the wholesome like, oh. story. I want to know the wholesome stories, but also I want to know what was the most wildest shit that was like that happened during oh, that 45 Five Some minutes. Fuck shit. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. You tell people they only have like a, an hour left to live. I'm, I mean, some people already did break laws. Oh, I I'm imagine, sure. Yeah. yeah. I imagine some people probably did and probably got in trouble for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. But they bet they pirated a movie. <laughs> 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 you, you wouldn't steal a car, yeah, would you? Yeah. I will when I have an hour to live. It's <laughs> yeah. fucking breaking. Yeah, if I had a year to live, well, I'm starting a meth empire. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I, I'd hope one of you boys would be, you know, my my Hank to, to me, to me, Walter White. I'd like to think so. Yeah, uh, it, it, exactly. It's like it, depending on the. Th that's why I was asking about the time frame, right? Because it's mm -hmm. like okay, if it's like an hour, right? There's only yeah. so much you can do. But like, say for example if you were gonna die within the next, mm. like say a month. Yeah. Right? Like, I think it would be would, very different. I've decided, I've decided what I wanna do. Well, well, if I had an hour left, I would film every single hot take I have left. <laughs> that is unsayable out loud. And then I'll post it and then I'll die.